Hi everybody, I hope you're doing really well. This video today doesn't necessarily have a certain topic per se, but I wanted to make it more for myself as an accountability. Sorry I'm like Sunday sweats, uh, we went to the market, I'm kind of windblown, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's a true confessions, have to be on the spot. Um, so I wanted to just um, take a moment. I've been watching so many sewing videos lately by some really, really inspiring women and just seeing their creations and seeing, you know, they post every month what they do and they're like, oh, this is what I'm doing next month. And it's just, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing next month. And then I'm sitting here going, what am I doing? And I mean, it's taken me, I don't even know how long now. And I remember posting on my Instagram about this skirt that I've been, you know, putting together for the last couple of weeks. It's like a midi skirt, um, ultra suede. And last night I just had the biggest bear of a time and, you know, just top stitching. It's just a problem. And I took it out three times and I put it to the side and then I go on to something else. And I thought today, oh my gosh, that's the problem right there. I don't have accountability. I'm just doing this on my own. I've had a business for more than 10 years. And when I was really devoted to it, I had a lot of customers and you, know, you have to get things on time. I never had a problem. I never had a customer wait. And I was really proud of that. I was you know, working into the night. I loved sewing. I loved creating new designs. But lately, since I've scaled way back on my shop, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of lost the direction that I was going. I was tired of doing the same thing and the same style. And my style had changed, which happens to a lot of us over time. And as much as I loved what I was making, it just, it wasn't making me joyful every day. So I just really, I mean, I have things in my shop now that are more like samples if somebody sees something they'd like me to make, that's fine, because I haven't really solidified new designs yet. So that's there, but I'm more sewing for myself now. I'm trying to get to the essence of what my core style is. And it's always been highly detailed. I have some examples here. I mean, this is a dress that, you know, so much detail on it, so much handwork. Um, everything here is vintage fabrics. There's like five layers of underskirt, literally. Um, you know, very pretty, very girly. This is a top um, that I had done. This is just, you know, just to give you an idea, this is, you know, all vintage lace and this top was from like a Christian Dior slip and this is all hand beaded. I don't know if you can see that. And then the back, there just was so many hours of work in everything that I used to do. And I think now I've gone so much more simple and I want instant gratification. I'm almost 50, I'm 48 years old now. I'm almost 50 years old and I, I, I get an idea in my head now and I'm more impatient than I was when I was young. I'm like, okay, I want this now, you know, otherwise I can go to the store and buy it. So I think that's my epiphany I had this afternoon is I need to start making blogs to chronicle, okay, I say I'm going to make these things in the next month and then I want you guys to hold me accountable and say, okay, <laughs> You said you were gonna make X, Y, and Z. What have you been doing? <laughs> and so, I mean, Instagram, I have some amazingly wonderful cheerleaders and friends that are always encouraging me. And especially through, you know, since late last year, you know, I've been very ill. And as much as I haven't wanted to talk about it, it's taken a lot of my energy and a lot of time and I've done hardly anything. Definitely not much sewing. Um, so they've been encouraging me the whole time, you know, you'll get back into it. And now that I am, you know, they're so excited and it just fills me up, but I still don't have that accountability. So that's what I'm going to start doing. That's what this video is about. 
I want to start doing regular updates and plans and really keep track of things like a schedule like I used to when I had my business really thriving. And I want to really see what's going to happen from that. So I appreciate you watching. I did want to show you um, this coat that I'm also wrestling with. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that this is going to be one of the things that I put into the video that I'm going to post about my upcoming plans for, let's see, for April. So that will be May. <laughs> so this is a coat. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard to show, but it has this shawl collar that, you know, I've done a bunch of beading on. Um, this blue was actually a tablecloth from Anthropology that I had for the longest time. And I had been going really full force with this. And then I kind of, uh, you know, lost <laughs> the impetus. And I had problems with the lining. Where's the sleeve that I cut out? Um, but now I've cut out a new lining today. So I'm excited to get working on that. If I can find it, that will be fabulous. Seriously. Okay, here's the lining that I'm going to be using. I had originally cut out an ultra suede lining. I really don't even know what dawned on me to do that because that would have been the worst thing. I mean, how can you slide your arm into a coat? that has got an ultra suede lining. I don't know what, I had a brain fart. <laughs> so that's gonna kind of coordinate together. I think it's gonna be cool. Um, and then there's this skirt that I did recently too. Um, this actually has the bottom hem is the reverse of that fabric that I used on the coat just to extend it because it was a little bit too short for me. Um, so, and it just has the raised waist, which actually I think because I'm very busty, <laughs> so I think that I'm actually going to lower this like, like that because this being, I'm very high waisted and it kind of sat here and I was like, oh no, that's not cute. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to be taking care of that and it has like the vintage lace trim and a little bow very girly but I love this is a fabric that I recently hauled so I did do that that's complete even though I have to kind of give it a little remodeling <laughs> and in the inside too I had done um, sort of like quilting lines so that's it I really appreciate you watching and I'm looking forward to um, the upcoming videos that I'm going to be making um, and I'm excited now to be planning again. I feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things, slowly but surely. Have a wonderful day. Take care.